Escalator going up Escalator coming down Well if you insist Then I can't resist your Escalator bitch Hello everyone, good evening, uh, no, 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 fuck that. Hello everyone, my name is John Brennan. Hi everyone, I am- I'm Josh Stifter. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck, we fucked it up already. The, okay, so th- this is supposed to be the show trailer that we're doing here. Uh, th- this is for a show, uh, for real though, I'm John Brennan, and you are? Hi everyone, I'm Josh Stifter. Okay, Josh Stifter, so... We, we have a show called the Escalator Pitch Podcast. What the fuck is that? Oh, you want to know what the fuck that is? I'm about to tell you what the fuck that is. So we're going to have a show about sucking dick with Taco Bell. No, fuck! <laughs> let's start it over. Okay, let's start from the beginning. For real now, this is it. This is the real one. I'm John Brennan. What's your name? I'm Josh Stifter. Okay, we're starting out angry. And, and I'm not angry at you, Josh. I'm just angry that this is the show trailer. We're trying to put our best foot forward, and I fucked it up. I'm sorry. John, you know, the thing I've learned from this podcast is we often open with, with the, the idea of this show is we sit down and we're going to talk about a movie script, and then we're going to pitch some ideas. It's a movie-based show, and John loves to start it off just angrily screaming at the audience, or and that's that's just what you guys could come to love and expect from this podcast, I think. I don't think that that's a good look, though. I wanted to come and talk about Indiana Jones Part 4, the unmade script that Frank Darabont got rejected for through George Lucas's fucking ridiculous nature, or uh, the unused Wes Craven draft of Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, or the endless amounts of unproduced iterations of movies that never got made, but here I am, just an angry piece of shit, yelling at the audience. No, I don't think this is going to work. It's it's not. No one is going to come back to listen to this, because you are so angry and agitated by it what we're doing. Nobody's going to want to hear the goddamn audience pitches that people have been so nice to send in. So many nice people and creative people have sent us pitches for movies, unmade sequels, unmade reboots, original ideas. I fucked this up, and I'm sorry. There's someone right now, John, there is someone right now listening to this podcast going, I wish I could send in a pitch. I have an idea that I would love to send in, but this fuck has turned me so off from the podcast, I'm not gonna, you know what, I am gonna do it, just because, just to get back at this fuck, you know what, you can do that, you can send in your pitches to us. I'm a human piece of dog shit. You understand, Josh? Do you understand that my entire life, I go out, I try to do the right thing, but either somebody fucks with me, or I end up just fucking it up. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, what's what happened? Where did I go wrong? You know, I think it started with the message that you sent me, hey, do you want to do a podcast? And ever <laughs> since then, it's been downhill. It's, been- it's just been a series of downhill moments. And that's what the audience is going to want to tune in for. I'm turning this around. I'm okay. turning it around. The audience is in, man. If they're still listening to this, they're going to love this show. You, listening right now, you're going to hear all these amazing pitches and you're going to get to hear interviews with people like Lloyd Kaufman. You're right. You know what? That makes me a little happier because people were nice enough to give their time to this thing. People like you said, Lloyd Kaufman, Debbie Roshan does a great interview. Debbie Roshan, come on. One of the greatest scream queens of all time. We got John McNaughton, director of Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, one of the greatest independent movies of all time. Hello? We got him. We got him. And he talks about his involvement in a Nightmare on Elm Street prequel that he was attached to. He gives us the the lowdown. Another great guest that we're going to have on, David Hughes, author of Tales from Development Hell and the greatest sci-fi movies never made. This guy is a genius and it's like our reference Bible. And he gave us time. Wait, so you're telling me that people are going to be entertained and educated on films? Yes. I am telling you that. I I mean, uh, you got me excited again, Josh. You know why? Because I love people. I want to spread light. I want to spread love. I want to be changed after this thing. I want this to be my therapy. Are you going to help me, Josh? Are you going to be my therapist? I, I mean, I'll try. You know what? I, you know what I think? I think that more than anything, what people are going to enjoy about this podcast, what they're going to be able to take away, is that it's just a way for people to talk and entertain each other and bullshit about what we love movies especially those 
that from the franchises that we loved and the ideas that people had about them that maybe weren't made or what could happen next building on things and coming up with new ideas it's just a way to be creative and think outside the box of of what is out there right now i'm excited because nanobots right nanobots are coming so they're going to put them inside of our bodies they're going to be little robots that heal the cancer we're going to live to like 247 or something oh like my that. god would you even want that i wouldn't even want that like i'm gonna i'm gonna be shocked if i can live to like 60 i'm now, i won't even make it that far I, i've got like two more good years left in me than four or five bad years and then i'm gonna go out with like liver failure no man i want to live i want to see some crazy shit i want to go to space I wa There's a guy Ray Kurtz <laughs> <laughs> Ray Kurzweil. Uh, I think that's how you say his name. He's waiting for the singularity, which he thinks is coming in like 2042 or 2049 or something like that. And the motherfucker takes like 175 vitamins a day to extend his life. And he's, I believe, in his 70s. Dude, we still have time. So once the nanobots and the bionic arms and the bionic legs come in. We're going to be able to stay alive and see what the fuck happens when uh, aliens invade or when we find life on Venus or whatever it is. That's going to be awesome. You just sold me, John. You sold me on staying alive for forever. Look, at that's what this podcast does. It helps us come to conclusions and figure out things about our life. It's a philosophical podcast, man. It's not even about movies. It's about life, love, love. It's mostly about us talking about Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, who are we kidding? Let's reiterate, right? So I'm John Brennan. I'm Josh Stifter. I asked Josh to do this podcast with me because I wanted to get over my fear of being a piece of shit. It's, this is going to help. Is it? It's going to help? I, I And when John asked me if I wanted to come on the podcast, I said, another podcast? Sure, why the fuck not? But really, I thought, saw it as a perfect excuse to start reading some scripts that I've heard about over the years and thought, you know what? This is a chance for me to read them, talk about them a little bit, and maybe get other people's people's opinions on them, because that's what I love. I love just having a conversation about things that, you know, I generally wouldn't take the time to do because I work a lot. So it was it, this was a great excuse for me to take the time, and I can't wait to hear what people how people respond to the scripts and how people respond to our take on the scripts and the pitches and everything. So I'm really amped about this. Guys, this podcast is coming. September 4th. I'm not a good salesman. <laughs> this, is <the laughs> most, this is the most just negative. Broke down. <laughs> I know. He, he just broke down. He's like, uh, he almost started to sell it, you guys. He almost started to sell it. He was at that spot where he was going, all right, here's where I'm selling it. September 4th, we're putting it out there. It's a pile of shit, and I'm a shitty human being. He couldn't even say a nice <laughs> thing about it. This is the most negative show trailer ever released. We're at Escalator Pitch across all social media platforms. Our email address is escalatorpitchpodcast at gmail.com. We really, really want and crave audience participation because I swear to God, you guys are better than us. You guys, uh, the, the, the audience pitch, pitches that we've already received, numerous ones, we're going to have to do just episodes only devoted to audience pitches. It's amazing. So we want more. And one of our main goals is to try and get recognition for someone, whether or not it's me and Josh, but somebody through this podcast because of how creative and beautiful their mind is. Yeah. And a big part of this, the, or a big part of the reason why I jumped on board with that, this idea was because as I was watching the Joe Bob Briggs show on Last Drive-In on uh, Shudder, I was seeing this amazing group of people coming together on Friday nights and talking about movies, bullshitting about what they're watching and having a great time through social media. Social media doesn't have to be just people trolling and bullshitting and you know, fighting with each other. It can be people having a good time and having conversations about stuff that they enjoy, which for you and I is unmade scripts and film history and potential future films. I was a little boy and my parents rented a, a video camera before there were camcorders and they took video of me and my brother taking a bath together. Now this isn't going where you think it's going. <laughs> this isn't the Finding Neverland documentary, okay? Finding Brennan Land. The, 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 it was innocent enough, I yes, I took baths with my brother, okay? I saw his penis and he shit in the water once and he said, look, John, a piece of cocky. But that's not what I'm trying to say here. In this video, 
I looked at the video camera. I said, can we make a movie? And I could just see the joy in my eyes thinking about making a movie and what beauty can it come from these movies because I had been in love with Star Wars and all of these huge films that I had been watching on VHS. But it's been in me since I'm a child, and I'm sure it's been in you since you're a child, and I'm sure it's been in everybody out there that's listening since they're children about the love of cinema. I totally agree, John. I'm with you 100%. <laughs> I didn't stick the landing on that story, but the story, main thing is that I was a kid. I love movies. I want to talk about movies. Josh is a cool dude. He's done a lot of great things. He made two movies for what? Uh, you made one movie for seven grand on the reality TV show Rebel Without a Crew. Robert Rodriguez is Rebel Without a Crew. That that's it's called the Good Exorcist. This movie's great. It's like, how could you make it for seven grand? I can't. I, it was almost impossible for me to make a movie with trauma for three hundred grand or whatever we had our budget for. Seven grand? That's impressive, man. Yeah, and then I just finished my second one as this podcast was coming out. I think if you look it up, I might have announced the dates that it's going to be screening. But it, uh, Greywood's plot, I made for like between two and three grand, something like that, and I'm really excited for it to get out there. And, uh, you know, I, as much as you uh, sort of didn't stick the the landing on that last story, your your sentiment was there. Everyone out there, we're seeing this, ma- like people, like a mass amount of people who are extremely into filmmaking and extremely into the process or just talking about it. Like just talking about movies in general, whether that's stories or like the reason why the Joe Bob Briggs show works so well and why people are on Twitter talking about it is because, yeah, we do laugh at the crappy moments in these movies and the poor filmmaking, but then we like revel in the amazing moments of filmmaking in these low budget or B crappy movies or in the better ones that are good. We sit there and go, oh my God, this is so fucking good. Like, this is so amazing. And you just find the, the this family in it. And that's what I was, that's what I'm hoping we can find with this podcast is people who want to get together, talk about unmade movies, talk about franchises we love and talk about things we'd like to see in the future. Absolutely. Come dream with us. Come dream with us, folks. Come as, dream with us. As a, wise, as a wise man once said, come dream with us. That should be our slogan. The Escalator Pitch Podcast. Come dream with us. And that's the worst slogan possible. It's art, man. And that's what we like. We like art. We like movies. We like music. And uh, I'm just excited to be on this journey with you, man. Let's do it, man. As always, we end the episode with a musical number. So this week, I'm going to write a song called Come Dream With Me. (laughs) Come Dream With Me. Will you come dream with me, Josh? You know what, John? I will. Let's dream. Come dream with me. In a magical fantasy land Where we talk about Our favorite movies Come dream with me And I'll finger blast your ass While we talk about Our favorite movies The escalator pitch Stare into the abyss Come on, let's wear the miss A sexy soul kiss of love For our favorite movie